Claire, Steve, I want to show you that gate protesters managed to get through last night. Take a look. You'll notice this is a private street considered private property. Tonight, protesters tell me they were peaceful the entire time, but that couple I spoke with says they were threatened. It was like the storming of the Bastille. The gate came down and a large crowd of very angry, shouting, aggressive people poured through. Tonight, the couple seen in this now viral video is detailing what they say was strictly self-defense. Mark McCloskey and his wife stood on their patio Sunday night pointing guns at a crowd of protesters. I was terrified that we'd be murdered within seconds, that our house would be burned down, that our pets would be killed. McCloskey says he and his wife called 911 and grabbed their guns as they heard the crowd approaching from afar. Video from another angle shows protesters chanting while walking into their private gated community, which appears to be open. But McCloskey says a key is required and later shared these photos of the gate destroyed. I stood up and uh, announced loudly, this is private property, please go back, leave. The, as soon as I said the uh, words private property, it, it enraged the crowd. There was um, then a horde of people coming through the broken gate. The couple owns a law firm and says they've spent decades practicing personal injury and civil rights cases. Sunday night, McCloskey says protesters threatened to light his house on fire and kill his dog. He says police didn't come until after protesters left. One fella standing right in front of me pulled out two loaded pistol magazines, clicked them together and said, you're next. Um, that was the first death threat we got that night. At the end of the day, if it's private property or public property, we're trying to get a message across. Rasheen Aldridge helped lead the protest, organized by a group called Expect Us. He says protesters were peaceful and no threats were ever made. When asked why the group marched on private property, he told us this. Just like in many disobedient protests, even if it was in the 60s, you break laws, you make people feel uncomfortable. Um, we're not doing anything where we're hurting anybody or putting anybody in danger. Tonight, McCloskey tells me he spent years defending victims of police brutality, including one case News 4 has followed for over a year now. Details on that coming up tonight on News 4 at 6. For now, reporting live in the Central West End, Emma Hogue, News 4.